Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I am here today with hashtag Meadowbook March. Um, that is a challenge for March that a young junk journaler friend of mine, Anne, at Meadowbook Journaling here on YouTube and Instagram, she is doing through the month and invited me to play and I like to support Anne and so um, I would encourage you to check out this hashtag. She has um, different artists all through the month doing different things with the prompts that she's assigned. And my my prompt is music and paint. And I'm here on St. Patrick's Day. And so I'm going to go with green to show you what I've done with paint and music. Um, there is so much that you can do with paint. I I love mixed media and paint is like, I don't know, it's like my food. Um, you can smush paint, you can splatter paint, you can brayer paint, you can use a card with paint, you can use watercolor. Um, there's all kinds of different paints even. And so what I wanna do today is show you how to make some pretty journaling papers. Uh, just to dress up some of the recycled papers that we use in junk journaling, like music pages. And so, you know how much I love Distress Ink, and it's just like go-to for me, but I also love watercolor, and acrylic paint is pretty, pretty easy to use as well. So, let me show you how to smush today, and then... Um, Maybe we'll get to a couple of other things too, but um, this, I, I did some green. This is watercolor, and then this is acrylic, and I'm making some paper for, you know, I keep talking about this dark forest journal that I want to get to, but I just have all these other things higher on the list. Um, but I'm still kind of doing things based on that, those plans. So let me show you how to smush paint onto music paper. All right. So uh, we can, I have a whole bunch of tags that I'll show you how I've used it in a minute. But let me just get, so what you're going to need is first of all, let's do watercolor. And so I just, I have two watercolors, but I wanna make this easy and accessible for just almost everyone. So so I'm just using the cheap um, pan watercolors. You can get them all kinds of places, Walmart, even the Dollar Tree. And um, so that's what we're gonna use first. And then you just need some water, obviously, and a paintbrush. So, all I'm going to do, oh, and then before you start, yeah, you need to roll up your sleeves because this gets messy. Once we get the acrylics out, it gets messy. And you're going to need some, you know, paper towel to clean the, the surface. I'm working on glass, this lovely glass mat that I have that you can use the countertop or whatever is going to give you a smooth surface and that won't stain. Sometimes the pigment in paint stains, so you need to be careful about that. Put down some wax paper or plastic or something so that you don't harm the surface that you're using. Okay, so let me, let's just get started. And I think I've done green, but I think um, just to give me a change, I'm going to do pink so that you can see what pink looks like. All right, so we're going to use pink. And we're just going to start smushing it on the glass. I'm just going to do this. It's just simple, right? Very simple. Just going to lay some paint down. And I think that we will as well put some brown because even though I'm doing pink, I still like grungy. It might end up being a little bit... Um, like shabby chic, maybe, because pink is, you know, kind of shabby chic. So let's put some brown down. And then we'll just take a piece of music paper. 
And I'm just going to lay it on there and smush. Just, it's just as easy as that. Now for the big reveal. There we go. Yeah, kind of like that. That's simple. Okay, I would do both sides, but you need to let the one side dry so that you can, you know, smush with your hands on the other side. There you go. I mean, that's just simple. And now you can use it in a number of ways. Um, in a journal, you can use it as journal paper or you can um, let it dry and iron it and then put it on a tag, right? I like that. Yeah, that's as simple as it is. Okay, so now what happened to my paper towel? Now let's do, um, and you can take the, the brush later if you want um, and add some other watercolor details. Um, you know, you could paint, you could paint some other things on top, but I'm just going to leave this as a background foundation paper. All right. So now let's move the watercolors out of the way and let's get some pink acrylic. We're going to use pink and green, a little bit of yellow and some white. Okay, and oh, I don't know if I shook these, so I guess I better make sure they're shaken. All right, and then you don't need very much because you're going to add water. All right, so just a dab, honestly. And white can be kind of important just to, um, all right, now we're going to spray this with quite a bit of water. And then just with my hands, I'm just going to smash it like that. Okay. The white, as I was saying, will sometimes just lighten up some of the, the other colors. I don't think we have enough pink. There, I'm going to put a little more pink in. And you kind of don't want globs because you're going to get a blob if you have blob, a glob. And then you want to make it very wet because that's what's going to allow the music to show through. Now, um, be careful to tear this. Okay, here we go. Just gonna turn it over and smush. Pick it up. There it is. Okay, and then you just need to lay this aside to dry. I'll bring that back in a minute. And now we're going to add some more water. What I'm trying to decide is which I like. I like the notes on this side, so I'm going to lay it down and smush. Yep. Then here's my rag. You know, you can keep doing that until the paint is gone on paper, you know. so that you don't waste the paint. All right, there's that one. I like it. And here's this one. So this one you can see, um, let me move that over. This is the second take, pull on the, the paint. This is the first. Now, if that's too much paint, then all you have to do is spray and then blot it up. Now, 
you don't you don't want to rub because rubbing will um, just smear it. And what I'm going for is kind of more of a a watercolory look. So then I can just move that around a little. And sometimes I also do this to um, to kind of lift some of the paint if I have too much. Yeah, but that just kind of gives a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, it just dresses up, you know, and helps you if you want to create unity um, with some of the other things you're doing in the book, um, then you can use the proper colors, you know, that you have going on or um, you can add other things. Anyway, so these two pages need to dry. So, and then once they are dry, then I can come back and do the other side if I want. So I'm just going to lay these to this side over here and get, uh, I need something to clean my fingers. My baby wipe. Because I don't want to transfer paint onto the things that I've already done. And then I'll show you these finished tags that I've made. Um, and that's, that's also something that I can do with the paper that I've made is I can just cut it and then add it here on a tag. And that's also something that I really like to use um, this kind of decorative paper for. So this, this is when this is steampunk tag that I've made. You can see the, the watercolor painted paper in the background. And then I've just added these other little elements. Um, so you can just do a stamping and add a sticker. Um, I've used a label and just a die cut on this one. This is a uh, watercolor. You can kind of tell the difference between watercolor and the, the acrylic. This is acrylic and this is watercolor. And so the acrylic is obviously opaque and the watercolor is more transparent. So you can just use a stamp again. This is an octopus. Um, this is, I've just used some flowers. I've done a little bit of splattering on top of this one. And then I have these two with the acrylic background again. Just this one, I've used um, just magazine image, a little bit of um, doily and a, out of cut out of a book text, and some aged uh, cellophane tape. And a bow here. I have just used here's the pretty painted background you can see, and I've just added a fussy cut image on top of a doily and little collage here on the bottom so that's 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 simple but just pretty easy um, see this is almost dry now um, and I can use that as a background page a journal page and um, so you'll see these papers again in my journal when I can get to it yep. All right, thanks for joining me, and I hope that you will um, check out the other artists during the month of March, Meadowbook March, and um, we'll see you later. Thanks for being with me.